Hey YouTube, how's your day? Mine is going pretty damn good. I mean, how can you go wrong in a setting like this? Am I right? I'm Adria and this is my new channel, Girl Gone Vagabond. So here we are out in PLUS, which stands for Public Land Use Zone. And once you get more than a kilometer off the highway, you're allowed to have a fire or camp in undesignated spots. You, if you have a permit for collecting firewood, you can do that. It's only $5. And of course, you'll see lots of motorbikes, and quads and things like that. It's pretty cool. Way over there. Wayne's got a fire going. Can you hear the gunshots? That's part of being in clues. I have a big announcement to make, but first, look what I got. We're gonna be able to have some fun with this baby. In fact, I'm gonna try it in the water here in a minute and see if that really works. Here's to hoping it does. But the big news is that in two weeks, I will be leaving on my first ever bag Vagabond tour. It, I'm calling it a mini Vagabond trial uh, because of course I still have my home, my home base. We've still got another year of high school to do. Um, but there it is. I'm gonna go on the road and live out of the truck. But for my entire life, I have always, always wanted to live on the road. And so I've had this dream of going Vagabond. 25 day trip around BC. We're going to go up north to Bella Coola and take the brand new ferry all the way to Vancouver Island, Port Hardy, way up on the north end. And we're going to travel around, see all the wreck sites and backcountry sites that are just like this here. In fact, I plan on doing a special video after the trip that will be a review of a whole bunch of British Columbia wreck sites. So if you're interested in camping, living on the road, uh, crown land camping, bushcraft skills, solo woman traveling, all those kind of fun things that are that are great hits on the internet, uh, don't forget to subscribe below so that you can follow the whole story. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to learn about, what parts of the trip you're really interested in. So I got myself a new GoPro, as I was mentioning. And I'm thinking that we should try sticking it in the creek here and seeing what kind of footage we get. Are you ready for this? This could be cool. Okay, first we have to turn it on. Let's get this going. Quick start, the little bunny. 
See if it lights up. There we go. It's already filming. All right, you're going in the creek. Let's see what happens. Whoa. All right, it's still running. That's a cool thing. Let's find out what we got. All right, you're going in the creek. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so I highly recommend these back road map books. You can get them for different areas. I've been able to research places I wouldn't have been able to find otherwise. But even with that, I still had to find a little bit of help for some of these back roads. So you need to really make sure you do your homework and you know where you're going. I'll be doing a special video after the trip that's going to sum up all of those wreck sites and give some reviews over ones that are worth going into. Definitely need a 4x4 though, uh, but that's the big news. I will be headed off in just two weeks. Thanks for watching and this is a girl gone vagabond.